hi hello hi hello welcome to my channel so if you're new here hi hello my name is Anne, and on here i do create faith and you know life and study in italy videos so if this looks to be content you're interested in please do consider subscribing to the channel and thank you for doing that okay guys so today we're going to talk about edisu pavia okay so the original scholarship for the university of pavia and I'm just going to straight away take you to the call for applications. If you want to access the call for application, this is the spot. You just come here and you click on it. Then this is the call for applications. Who is the call for? Okay, the announcement is basically, you know, aimed at um, students enrolled in the University of Pavia for this academic year 2023-2024. Okay, who are eligible for, you know, receipts of scholarship. Then, okay, so the scholarship is in the form of economic, you know, support, consistent of cash payment and that of um, provision for services, you know, provided for free of charge. So now let us look at who can apply for this scholarship. So it's stated here, students enrolled in, you know, bachelor's degree courses for a period of seven semesters starting from the year of first registrations okay then that of students enrolled in single cycle master's degree courses then um to those enrolled in you know master's degree courses then that of like research students enrolled in phd programs one thing we also need to talk about is you know students must not apply for this particular scholarship if you hold like you know a degree of the same level or superior to that which you're coming to study in Italy for, to which you are requesting for the benefit. So if you are coming to study like probably master's degree or that of like bachelor's, and then you already hold a bachelor's degree or that of a master's degree, then you should not, you cannot apply for this particular scholarship. Then also, it doesn't mean you cannot like come and study. You can come and study, but then you cannot get access to this benefit then the next is that you cannot be a recipient in that in this same academic year of another you know scholarship awarded by um like a public or a private body so if, if you probably won the mice scholarship invest your talent in elite scholarship or like other ones you cannot apply for this scholarship let us talk about the like the requirements to be included in the rankings the like your enrollment to the university of pavia for this academic year 2023-2024 should be like finalized should be completed by the 20th of october 2023 okay it is mandatory okay now let us talk about merit-based requirements for first year students Please, guys, take note of this. It's very important in this scholarship. So, like, in order to be eligible for inclusion in the rankings, even as a first-year student, you need to be able to meet, like, merit requirements by the 20th of October 2023. If you're a first-year student enrolling in a bachelor's degree, master's degree, or a single cycle, you know, master's degree course, then the requirement is to have completed a secondary school with the final exams mark no lower than 70 over 100. Guys, this is very important. The second evaluation is going to be based on like the academic year. So now you're in Italy, you have studied, they are going to look at like your merits. You need, they are going to look at your credits. Okay. So um, at the end of the academic year, they are going to check to ensure that you have obtained the necessary credit for the first semester and that of the second semester as well. That is what will allow like you to be able to access the second portion of the funds. So now let us talk about the income-based requirements. Students applying for financial aid to access higher education for the year 2023 must have Ize Uni for that of like 24,000, it, sh it should be less or equal to 24,335.11 euros, okay, 
then that of like that of the equivalent asset situation indicator the student is required to have that of 52,902.43 euros okay so that is what you need to take note of as an international student the document that you need is that of the ISE U Parificato you need to be able to provide them with the composition of the family unit so it includes you other family members and any person okay officially residing with the family okay so you need to indicate their date of birth and the nature of the relationship so like there's a sample of how to compile the family declaration document on my channel i'm going to link it up here like in this video so that you go check it out then the gross income so the year and the review is that of 2022 you remember for the Lazio region, Lazio Disco, it, um, the year that was requested for the Easy UP was that of 2021. But then for that of the Edisu Pavia, the year requested is that of 2022. So the gross income received abroad in 2022. Then the last thing is that of the number of any buildings owned abroad by each adult member of the family unit as of, as of December 31st 2022 so including surface you know measurements in square meters or a document stating that no member of the family unit owns no property then the last thing that you, you need to include is that of the amount of any movable assets which has to do with bank balance shares bonds like treasury bills like anything at all you need to include it the above mentioned documents must be issued by competent authorities in the country in which the income was made and in which any building and financial assets are owned it needs to be legalized by the italian diplomatic authorities acting in that country together with an italian translation certified by the same authorities in no case whatsoever will any form of self-certification substitute statement affidavit or sworn declaration referring to income and or assets abroad be accepted if any of these types of documents are submitted they will not be taken into consideration so after confirming your online application you have to attach the electronic file formats okay copies of all the documents that have been listed that are your family composition your income that of your properties and assets you have to include all these documents in the upload documents section okay then after you're done doing that please the original copies of the same document must be submitted to edisu by not later than 7th i guess 2023 at 12 p.m either directly to the offices this is their via via calatfimi 11 pavia or sent by post offices then the shipping cost is going to be paid by you the student but then it must arrive by the same date so even after applying and then uploading your documents online if you do not submit the physical document the original copies to edi supervia you're going to be excluded from the rankings now let us quickly look at the value of the scholarship so it's it's given in three ties okay so the first tie has to do with like if your easy value is within zero euros to twelve thousand one hundred and sixty seven point five six euros okay then the second tie is that of like twelve thousand if your easy value is between twelve thousand one hundred and sixty seven point five seven to that of sixteen thousand two hundred and twenty three point four one euros then the third tie is that of from sixteen thousand two hundred and twenty three point four two to that of twenty four thousand three hundred and thirty five point eleven euros now let us look at the amount that are going to be given particularly to the income ties that we've looked at so the first one that i did mention has to do with those who do not get access to accommodation by the by edisu party okay but then if you end up getting accommodation with edisu pavia then if you fall within the first tie, first income tie then you're going to be given three thousand 
naira than 67 euros plus that of like college placement and free meal per day for a total of 7082 euros so i don't know if you kind of like get it like if they give you if you get access to meals and that of accommodation then that means the physical cash that you're going to receive is going to reduce as compared to someone that will only go for meals and then they will get their private accommodation they are going to be giving more money if you fall within the second income tie they are going to be giving three thousand forty three euros plus that of the accommodation and free meal which will you know amount to the amount stated it will amount to six thousand one hundred fifty eight then lastly if you fall within the third income tie then you're going to be giving one thousand nine hundred and fourteen euros plus that of the you know accommodation and a free meal per day for five thousand twenty nine euros you know for female students enrolled in degree courses in stem that of science technology engineering and mathematics then you're going to see the amount is going to be increased by 20 percent okay okay so finally let us talk about the rankings okay the provisional ranking list will be made public by october 3rd 2023 and then it will be posted on the online student services area the final rankings will be presented to all interested parties by 31st of october 2023 the last thing that i want us to talk about is how the scholarship is going to be disbursed so the first installment of the scholarship will be disbursed in services okay so that is has to do with free access to the canteens from 10th november so from the 10th of november to that of 9th november 2024 then like the free accommodation services and that of the canteen as well will now be available then the first installment will also be paid by the 10th of november 2023 the second installment of the grant will consist of a cash payment whose amount will be equal to 50 percent of the total value of the grant so the payments will be made by 31st december 2023 then the third installment of the scholarship will consist of a cash payment as well by the third installment then the final amount of money will be given to you the third installment will be disbursed from may 2024 so i hope you guys found value in this video if you did please don't forget to like the video share the content and subscribe to the channel if you have not so happy applying and see you in my next video bye